going on? We are back. We are front. We are side to side. Side to side. New location. Give me a thing. Uh, new, ha new happiness, new location. Not really. This old location. Um, like I said before, we're going to try to start doing this uh, um, weekly. So we're going to be on here. Uh, we're going to try to be on here weekly. We're going to try to stick, stay away from weekends because that's when all the stupid trolls come out. That but, I have no life, especially on a Friday night. Yeah. Want to sit there and watch me eat ice cream. But but tonight we're going to do some geeky talk and we're going to do some uh, some online uh, purchase stuff that I got from Walgreens. Two pops that I got from Walgreens. And uh, show off a couple pops of uh, something that I got that reminded me of my... Uh, Reminded me of my uh, my wife and my girls. Uh, a couple of pops that I got. And go ahead and show this off now. I'm the pop collector. I, I collect uh, Funko Pops. Mike collects them too. Uh, this is mine behind us too. Uh, this is some of my older pops. I decided I'd put those up to show them off. Um, watch this, everybody. <laughs> watch this, everybody. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, we're the Unboxing Bros. We've been doing this for a while. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, man, Unboxing Bros. Yeah. We've been doing this for a while. We just uh, we just now kind of got back into it. Um, shout out to some of our uh, our friends or our fellow YouTubers. LP, oh, uh, Pop Culture legend. Junkie. The Great Legend. The Great Legend. Oh, Apparently, oh, oh. He's, he's live tonight. Is oh, that what yes. you're about to say? Yeah, yeah. He's alive tonight with LP. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take your, steal your thunder there, buddy. Also, Alex the Comic Quarter got his Nyobi. Nice, nice, Ooh, that nice. That blank cover looked amazing. Yeah. Uh, I'm we jealous, by the way. Hopefully, ha we have a blank cover coming. If we do, then we have a we have a surprise. Mike and I have a surprise for LP. So uh, we'll figure out all that. If you have any questions about some of the uh, some of the YouTubers that we're naming, um, you can Check either you can go on Funko Steve and uh, check out my my. Uh, friend list and uh, check out some of those people because all those people are great YouTubers. I, I mean, I've got some really good YouTubers on there. Um, Pop Stop, uh, we got some, there's some really good YouTubers. Steven Higgins. Um, but anyway, uh, LP, congratulations on Niobe coming out. Congratulations on getting her out to the public now. And uh, congratulations on all your success, man. And, and from the Unboxing Bros, we mean that. We've been with you from the very beginning, and we'll be with you until the very end. I know that sounds kind of morbid, but it's true, man. And uh, die hard for life. To us, brother, uh, I don't think life. really don't think it could have happened to a better person in our eyes. Dude, um, you're phenomenal, man. So oh, uh, I want to give a shout out to Matt Hawkins, who has uh, a new comic coming out at the end of May. Um, so uh, it's uh, called Swing. It is about the lifestyle. Um, I'm picking it up because um, it's Matt Hawkins, and you can't go wrong with Matt Hawkins. Um, I shared him on Facebook. Who if you're a friend of me, oh, it's Matt Hawkins. I mean, I can't get over you saying that name, Matt Hawkins. I mean, it gets bigger and bigger every time. That's what she said. Oh, hi, hi. that was a good one. That was a good one. Anyway, see, so these are the jokes. Stick around. If not, then um, you're in for road awakening because that's all we do here. We have fun, <laughs> and that's what we like to do. And you know we're very very laid back. Oh. Uh, we're not exactly PG thirteen, but we try to be as best we can. We try to limit the f bombs, yeah. stuff like that. But uh, unless you piss me off, then I'm gonna drop the f bomb every ten seconds. We are adults, so we can all uh, get along. Get along. We can't all do this. Unless you're at Waffle House and Sarah Moon, and you ask for a plastic fork, mm. it'll cost you fifty cents. Yeah. High five. High five. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So tonight we're here to. Uh, Again, talk about geeky stuff and to show an online purchase that I, I purchased. Um, it's been a while since I was able to purchase anything from online. I, I have been getting a pop here and there, but it's not... You always hold the boxes. It's really light. You can have it back. I thought it was heavier than that. Uh, okay. So, um... High five. Okay. Whoa. Um, so, now that, uh... Finances have gotten a little bit better on the uh, on up. my side of family for actually both of us. Um, we should be doing more purchases. I have a Ferrera box coming. Ferrera, it's a Ferrari box coming. Ferrera Market is the name of it. Ferrera Market box. And Why it's, does uh, that sound like Ferrari? The dude's last name is Ferrera. And, uh, really? It's, it's, like it's, and Ferrera? Mike Chuck J. I know Ed Ferreira. He used to be a wrestling commentator. I don't remember. I don't remember his name. Oh, it's, it's a he. It's a. It's a. 
Mantis Man. Welcome to the Trolls, everybody. Shut up. All right, so, yeah, so, uh, like I said, we're, uh, we're going to be oh, unboxing this. Right? Uh, we do ask that uh, that uh, hey, you be nice to us. We'll be nice to you. Uh, if you're a, if you're a troll, you're not gonna get you're not even gonna get acknowledged. So you might as well leave, go to another channel because it's not gonna matter. Um. But yeah, so enjoy I guess the show. enjoy the show. Uh, this is one of the pops that I just bought. This one looks like my uh, my wife and my oldest daughter, and this one looks like. Did you know there's a card in here? My, my two little ones. Hello. If that's your way of greeting, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, you, it's you like saying, hey man, how you doing? I need to work on that. Yo. Yeah, what's up, buddy? And speaking of one of the YouTubers we actually care for. PCJ in the house. What's up, PCJ? Did you know I had a thing in it? I did not, but I do now. Oh, it's for the uh, Disney Treasures box, which I'm really surprised I don't subscribe to. Is it, dude, is that Dumbo? Yeah, dude. Disney Treasures. If if you like Disney pops and you like Disney stuff, Disney Treasures is the way to go, brother. It's it's got some really good stuff on there. So yeah, so I was just showing off these PCJ. The PCJ is here. PCJ is here. I was showing those off because those look like my 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 wife, my daughters. <laughs> so I was just kind of showing those off. But I'm uh, taking this by the way. This not yours anymore. Well, okay. And I was showing off uh, an online purchase PCJ, and then we were going to uh, just sit and chat for a little while because we got we got a little while to sit and chat. Oh, huh. yes. Oh, so we have our first drunk dude on the thing. So I'm gonna be opening it now. I have not opened this, and it's still sealed. Which, if you know me, Mike knows me. That's amazing. What? That this has not been opened yet. Is it not amazing? Honestly, I'm surprised we're even doing an unboxing for it. <laughs> Usually when I get a box, I, I open it. like. Sweet. Send us a friend request, and we will follow you and watch whatever you unbox. Check out your unboxing things, and if it follows our genre, and if it follows... Even if it does it, most of the time we'll watch it. We'll hang out and drink beer. And we'll, uh, maybe we'll, uh, promote you next and say hey you're one of our guys or guys. yes all righty so dude you're a cheater I'm let them see before we see when you open the box this is Holy what you'll see spider man oh um yeah that's a little weird never mind you can yeah we don't need a no. Oh, Mystery Mini Challenge? I like Mystery Minis. Oh, we'll have to check that out, PCJ. Okay, so this right here is the uh, Punisher 2099 GameStop uh, version, but it actually is the Wal Walgreens exclusive. It's the Contest of Champions, which I guess is a game, right? Game it's reverse? Uh, it's a game that's come out or something? I don't know, man. The Contest of Champions is an actual comic book at one time. It was also referenced in the newest Thor movie, too. Remember? Yeah. Oh, it's, okay, so that makes sense. So they put them all in the, in the thing. It's a little bit up, actually. I'm a little disappointed. Mm, it's not too, too terrible. Though. It's not too terrible, bad, but... It's right there. Yeah. So it got been up just a little bit. That's all right. The Howard the Duck one. Oh, dude, the Howard the Duck is so pimp. I'm going to get him the power the, the Howard the Duck one. So. I mean... I mean, look at that thing. So, talking about me, bro. Oh, and then, of one. course, we have Spider-Man with the big time suit, which I'm not really sure what that is. This is a big time suit, but uh, it's another Spider-Man. And I, I collect the Spider-Man. I like the Spider-Mans that are. Uh, oh yeah, power nap. Sorry about cool. that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh uh, yeah, Spider-Man. Cool. Thanks, Spider-Man. Thanks, PCJ. Appreciate that. Buddy. Um. Also. Uh, appreciate that. Um, but no, in all honesty, um, Spider-Man also has another thing going on. Um, if you're familiar with what we're doing here on the PlayStation 4, a little, little hip up to the... Uh... Oh my god. What's up, Chris? What up, buddy? Um, yeah, 
Spider-Man is very, very busy right now. He is also in a video game called Spider-Man. And I cannot wait for that that game, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be hot. I just tonight I pre-ordered the collector's edition, which I could not believe I could pre-order still, because that game looked freaking amazing. If it, they put Spider-Man in like a like an open world where you go through this, go through the city and you beat up stuff, that's that'd be epic, epic man. That's I mean, what, what kid didn't dream about being Spider-Man when they were a kid, man? I I, I love Spider-Man. You ever seen that meme where Spider-Man runs and he goes, "What if Spider-Man was in the middle of the country? He runs to the edge of the building." And shoot. Uh, yeah, I was like. Uh, that, he did that in Homecoming too. He's like, "What do I connect to?" Yeah, so, yeah. But uh, That's great. Let's see. Oh, PCJ, are you an Xbox One guy? Hey, I have nothing problems with the X Bone, man. My old lady, man, she loves the X Bone. She, she will never, she will never get rid of her Xbox. As a matter of fact, every time I go home, she's sitting there with a the headset on playing Call of Duty World War Two. I love this game. I cannot. I can't. I can't, <sighs> baby, baby, wake up, it's four o'clock in the morning, take your headset off, go to bed, I drool, sorry Jackie, way too much information, boo -boo. he'll pay for that when he gets home, I'm yeah. sure, um, also okay. another shout out to my dad, my dad just went through uh, some, some serious surgery, and he came out of it, on the other side of it, uh, better than he went in, which is amazing, uh, it really shows the uh, resolve of our family, Brought the family together. The family rallied around him, and uh, that's great. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm. I even sent your dad some good wishes. Yeah, yeah, some and good prayers. It's... Dude, don't do it just for two games. Yeah. Have you seen the new God of War game? Oh my God, that first boss was. Oh, uh, what's the face oh. at the at the comic book store has the box set with the statue in it? Oh. Yeah, too much for it. Yeah, that. But no, man, that that thing is amazing. I watched the whole ten minute first fight scene, dude. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, God of War's got some epic, epic scenes. And the graphics look. The graphics awesome. are amazing. I mean, like he was fighting freaking. He was fighting somebody from Asgard named the Stranger. I was just like, I remember. Uh, what? I mean, I'm not even a God of War fan, man. But I watched I that played, whole freaking ten minute fight scene. And I was like. Why did I buy this game? I played the first one and and the part where he gets he gets laid, it just killed me, man. It's like, laid. I was like, Oh my god, he got laid in a game. Of which, I'm not a really big guy that goes out and buys video games like, you know, for <coughs> nudity or whatever. <coughs> I recently made a five dollar purchase on Steam. <laughs> Let me tell, tell you about this. Wow. Okay. So there I was on Steam, and I was like, "Oh man, I like to play Bejeweled. I'm tired of Bejeweled though, because uh, it just goes clean, clean, clean." Does all the weird. He knew what he was Yeah. No. <laughs> I bought a bundle of Sakura. I don't even know what Sakura means. Still to this day, I don't know what Sakura means. It means nasty ass stuff. Man, and it came with like five games. One of them was Mirror, which that's what I'm going to tell you about in a minute. Dragonia, Demon's Knight, Hellgirls, and there's one other one. I can't remember the name of it. But um, So we're going to go with the first one I named, Mirror, because that game alone, well, I don't even know how much it costs by itself. It's like dollar fifty two dollars or whatever i'm just glad they have a sensor on the steam because i didn't know what i was doing when i bought this i bought it for hell girls personally i mean hell girls was is, is a great game even though it does have scanning clad little whatever but um that didn't what sold me on the game it was the match three stuff and you kill the monsters and you keep going forward and forward and forward well mirror Total different game. Total different game. I'm not going to get in too much detail of it, but it's a whole kinky sex game that involves playing Bejeweled. I showed it to him today. He was like, whoa. Yeah, it was. That's intense. I was like, this ain't even the best part. <laughs> it's pretty intense. I mean, it makes your mind go, whoa like what am i watching here is this like for real i'm like unfortunately yes you start looking around and see who's watching you're like oh uh, you feel uh, dirty <laughs> playing the game what's up kelly what's up my brother Hello, kelly Dude, and you feel dirty playing wow, this we game. haven't heard from kelly in a long time buddy no <laughs> negative no negative no i'll be like 
So, you see my hand go, <laughs> I'm joking. I've never done that. Ugh. It was a joke. I would never do that. But, dude, it is, it is very, very, I'm just glad there's bunny rabbits and daisies, if you know what I'm saying. Daisies, bunny rabbit. He's not joking. Bunny rabbits and, and daisies. daisies. So, therefore, I could actually live stream and you'd be like, yeah, right. but I don't know that the content in itself would get you banned quickly. I, it, it's really. <sighs> just go look at Mirror. Just go to Steam and go look at Mirror, and you'll find out what the hell I'm talking about. And you'll be like, Mike played this game? I'm like, yeah. I haven't beat it either, and I've been trying to beat the game. I think I'm going to like. The fifth chick you gotta beat in submissive. Like literally you gotta beat them into submission and move forward. I didn't know that. I played the game, I was like beating the same chick over and over and over again. She got completely butt naked and I'm like I'm gonna go forward and it let me move finally after I did some weird BDSM things and I'm like, I'm done. Had enough. Moving on. So in other words, he'll last from it soon. Yeah, sure, why not? If I can get my computer up and running, yeah, I'll live stream it and get banned from the internet forever. You not only want to be on Facebook jail, I'll be in YouTube jail. When I'm going to be in YouTube jail, I'll probably be in jail for real. I mean, it's pretty graphic. It's yeah, pretty I don't bad. Think there's anything illegal about it? It ain't. Except for the dark elf and the zombie chick, and then there's some dragon chick, and then there's a. Um, some other chick. I forgot what that thing was, and then there was a chick I had to type. I don't even want to talk about it. It's very, very. <laughs> what? No. Oh, yeah, what podcast? That's not you, is it? Uh uh. That's not me either. Uh -huh. Really? I know, who, I know who that is. Oh my gosh, I found you. That's Jack. Oh. Uh, Play much? But anyway. Alright, so. Really? That is awesome. I'm so jealous, man. So jealous. Nice PCJ. Where where can we get that? Where can we find that? On podcast, probably on iTunes. Or Spotify. So now I have a total of three hundred and one pops and my total value is worth four thousand two hundred and ninety eight dollars. Not too bad. Oh really? How was your predictions of WrestleMania? Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, that's on iTunes. Um the question I have for you is, how did your predictions go on WrestleMania? Mine went great other than no Kenny Omega because he decided he wasn't going to show up there or even sign with WWE because of all the negativity they give their bi, gay, lesbian characters. For one of the reasons he said anyway. But I'll get more into that later. Uh What? Uh, yeah, I knew Undertaker was there. I already knew he was going to show up wherever, wherever John Cena was sitting out there in the ring. So I'm like, yeah, they wouldn't go out there and talk to Cena if, he, if something wasn't going on. Or it was like... Phew. You thought Oscar was a shocker? I didn't think Oscar was a shocker. I, I knew Roman... The Roman match, I was like, man, they're going to put Roman over. And they didn't. And, dude, that was a... Dude, did you hear the... We, this is terrible chant? Oh, my God. That was great. And um, did you watch any of the CCW or the Ring of Honor Supercard or any of that stuff? And if so, how did you get any of that right or wrong? And I predicted Cody going over Omega. Big guy. I think everybody had that one right, though. But I did not see um, Desmond Xavier losing. Yeah, completely boo the crap out of it and call it the lamest fest ever, the lamest WrestleMania. <laughs> but it wasn't that lame. 
I mean, WrestleMania for what it was, it was a seven hour extravaganza of, hey, let's do over the top crazy stuff and make people ha hate us at the end of the night. Let's try to be better than, than New Japan's Wrestle, Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, NXT destroyed WrestleMania, in my opinion, and it was only two and a half hours long. Completely destroyed Mania, in my opinion. I mean, that, that Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano match was probably the best match I've ever seen at an NXT show, period. Gargano is freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. And Ciampa's heat, it's like, oh, man. I don't know if you've seen the post I made. It was like, heat, heat, and then boom, heat. I mean, that... <laughs> Dude, they were chanting F you Ciampa and they were chanting you F and suck and dude it was like whoa and Ciampa was like let me hear it you know and I'm like dude he didn't even bleep out the F word I was like I'm in love I feel like I was in the 1990s at an ECW arena I was in love oh dude really insane yeah that ladder match oh my god dude I thought Velveteen Dream was going to win it however I'm glad my boy Adam Cole won because of again you can't dis you can't dispute the undisputed there dude. I mean you can't dispute it period and you need to start watching wrestling so you know what the hell we're talking yes. about yes yes I do because that NXT match like he, that ladder match that six man ladder match was phenomenal the tag team three way dude I, that shocked me I didn't see Strong winning that at like he did or doing what he did that was Totally, completely blindsided me. I was like, ah. Oh, dude, Velveteen Dream was so, so, so. Oh, oh yeah, I, see, I thought Dream was going to win, honestly. I really did. I thought, but he got injured during the match. I seen all the marks on his neck and the cuts and stuff. And they and EC3 took freaking 11 ladder, ladder shots, 11 of them. Yeah, she was banking on Ricochet to win. I'm, nah, he's too new. They ain't gonna give it to him. I, I picked Adam Cole or um, or Velveteen winning it. And when I seen Velveteen was bleeding pretty good, I was like, nah, they're not gonna give it to him. And then Cole went up there and snatched that baby down, and he did the. I was like, I would love to see Adam Cole versus AJ Styles again from NJPW. That would be great. Even in the Ring of Honor stuff, I'd like to see it again. And I can't wait for Bobby Fish to be back to 100%. That dude's amazing. And then you get the four-way now, man. You got Cole, Strong, Fish, and O'Reilly. Game over. I'm glad they moved Authors of Pain to Raw, I think they moved them to. Game over, man. Game over. <laughs> I'm so happy. Now we have no... Oh, yeah. Ronda Rousey. They made her look really good. <laughs> But yeah, wrestling that weekend, two weekends ago, was amazing. This weekend coming up, we have the greatest rumble ever. My prediction to win, I don't care. Do I want Rusev to beat Taker? Yes. Do I want Roman Reigns to beat Brock Lesnar? No. The rumble, man, I, I, I really don't know, man. I mean, they bring in the great Kali in. They bring in Rey Mysterio back for another Royal Rumble match, and they bring in back um, that other that other guy that's been washed up and ran off several times. And I'm just I'm not a big I'm not sold on it, man. The matches itself look great. I mean, you have the Bar versus the Woken the Wokens, but. You know, I, I'm 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 almost leaning towards Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt on that. I really do hope they win because that that tag team has so much potential to be blown up, to be huge. You got two freaking main eventers right there. I mean, let Matt Hardy win the championship. I mean, I have no idea. I, I really don't know. And, and couple uh, kills. Yeah, a couple of Mucho Dinero. <laughs> and I mean Mucho Dinero. Because that card is stacked. I mean, it's almost like watching a freaking pay-per-view they just had two weeks ago in in New Orleans in Saudi Arabia. And the only thing different is it's a Royal Rumble pay-per-view. 
and, and the Rumble isn't even the main event. In my opinion. And then you have AJ Styles, oh, greatest dude ever. I, I really think that he's going to lose his title, though, at Backlash, unfortunately. A couple I, brand new pops. You know that's Jackie, right? Yeah. That's why I did that. Oh, dual sugar. I don't know what that means. Um, but in all seriousness, I, I do believe that um, the Royal Rumble card itself, the Royal Rumble, is just going to be whatever. I don't even know what they're winning for or what they're going to get at the end. Don't care. Um, it should be something that should be sought after for something. But I don't know. And I heard there's no women matches because, again, Saudi Arabia. Which, I mean, I'm okay with whatever, you know. They'll probably play all that, though. There'll be something. They'll bring something out. Where somebody shows up in a full gear or something, and you're not really sure who it is until they take it off or something. No, I doubt it. I don't think they'll do that. That's how I would do it. Because they're having a... The, this past Raw was... <laughs> you didn't get to make versus Roman Reigns in a steel cage. <sighs> don't care. I hope Brock Lesnar destroys him and buries him inside the cage, personally. That's how much I care for Roman Reigns. He, he, everybody says, oh man, he's a great wrestler. He can wrestle. No. He reminds me of, I hate to say it, Elias. I mean, he has, Elias has more potential than Roman Reigns does, in my opinion. And when they can't, when they got rid of Bull Dempsey, they should have got rid of Baron Corbin. Enzo Amore and Big Cass. However, tonight Big Cass could actually speak. I was like, whoa. He must have called Enzo Amore and said, hey, bro, I know you're out there getting getting canned and everything and you're going to jail forever, but uh, can I still have some of your lines? Can you give me some pointers? I'm pretty sure he did a thing. I mean, I would have if I was Big Cass. I mean, he's seven foot tall. You know, you can't teach that. And, again, there's a lot of things in wrestling that I agree and disagree with. Um, the Cruiserweight Championship, they should bring in David Starr, the product, the Jewish canon. They, he's really good at Twitter. Um, the best of the best. Um, oh, yeah, your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler, the embodiment of charisma, David Starr. Hmm. I think uh, what's his face said it best in Liar Liar when he says stop breaking the law asshole <laughs> Jim Carrey yeah hmm. I'm in here kicking my own ass I love that movie it's a great um, movie yeah one of your clients just got put back in jail and he'd like some advice stop breaking the law oh, man. asshole Fair um, movie. Speaking of the XFL, it's back. Welcome to hell, everyone. The XFL has returned. Woo! And I've heard rumors it's going to be on the network. Yikes. Hey, you pay $9.99 a month. Oh, you don't want to watch wrestling? Why would you not want to watch wrestling on this great network we have? Oh, you like sports? We have the XFL for you. No, it's not rigged. Please, kill me now. Oh. I've also heard rumors they're bringing in Johnny Football. Ooh. And Tebow. Golly. Yes. Oh, God. Yes. It's a true story. I wish I could make this up. I've heard, not only them, I've heard even rumors of other famous football players getting... And just come in and do all kinds of other things. And I'm like, ah, it's terrible. God, it's terrible. And I really hope that's all lies and they're just what they are, rumors. I hope that is not true. God, I hope that's not true. If it is true, Vince, I don't support that. Just saying. I'm a fan. Don't do that. 
It's like saying no to drugs. Don't do it. Just don't. And the WBF, ain't that the World Boxing Federation type deal? I thought that was a... About five minutes. Well, if I had any doubt before who you are, I, I definitely know who you are now. Um, like I said, it's Jackie. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, um, that is my woman right there. I uh, I built the wall and and, <clears throat> and made Mike pay for it. Yeah, with my own money. With his own money. And I had to build and the it. blood and sweat and tears of the American people. All on my back. That's right. Um, next time that we go live, we're going to try to have a uh, another person on here with us uh, you can see her right now she's named herself the unboxing bros on here she's speaking she knows a little bit about wrestling we're trying to get her her face on here try to get her to get up her favorite to. wrestler is Finn Balor so we're gonna see if we can't convince her to get on here and uh, start talking a little bit too maybe have a pretty face on here to look at so that uh, we have somebody else to look that you have somebody else to look at other than these ugly mugs right here yeah, we're terrible people. But, um. I'm trying to keep me out of here. See, God among men. Oh, my Finn Balor. Yeah, she's a real big Finn Balor fan. And Seamus and Cesaro fan. And. I think she likes somebody on SmackDown. I'm not sure who it was. Why don't you tell them? Who do you like on SmackDown? She has a voice. Let her speak. Speak, woman. Forever hold your... Don't pay for that when he gets over there. I wouldn't throw out personal stuff on here, but it's not the form to do a thing. I'm already been on Facebook and I regretted it. Oh, you don't want what happened? Yeah. Yeah, that's not the place. No, she didn't even do it on Facebook. People are evil. Are evil. Just don't trust anybody unless you're brothers are oh, hell even then no dude I wish we could I wish I was actually wealthy and I could actually be doing more see I don't even do a lot of unboxings PCJ but we're going to start to we're going to start doing these weekly I mean, try to we're going to try our best to do these weekly and we're going to stay away from weekends dude I'm all up for that, bro. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell yeah, dude. And we'll, uh, we'll, we'll talk about we'll talk about price. We'll talk about I mean, logistics. No, no, no. I don't never set a price on my well, stuff. Well, no, you so. have to. You have to set some kind of price. You have to set cause some kind of logistics. What we want in it? Do we want pops in it? Do we want comics in it? Do we want both? Do we want neither? Yeah, that sort of thing. No. You shut up. Yeah, we, we'll we'll set logistics up. We'll, we'll figure out what we're gonna do, and then we'll uh, we'll figure it out. We'll uh, message you and uh, and do it, and then we'll do live unboxings. No. No. If you do a if you do a trade box, it doesn't matter what's in the box, as long as you get something cool. I've always believed in. Don't matter what the cost of a box is. It don't matter if it costs five dollars, fifteen dollars, a hundred dollars, one hundred fifty bucks, fifty bucks, seventy five cents. But you set a price range that way. You're getting pretty much the same stuff from from the other people. That way, it's not unfair. Dude, I don't care. Well, I do, and most people do. I don't. I'm that guy. I mean, yeah. thank you, PCJ. Thank you, PCJ. I'm not. I'm not saying that, brother. I'm. I'm. I'm not saying anything to the contrary. I. I. I I'm going to love any box that comes from any of my fellow YouTubers. I'm just saying that if we set a price range, I mean, even if it's a wide range, say, you know, a hundred bucks or something like that, then I mean, you know, that way we know what kind of what you know kind of a roundabout figure of what we need to put in it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but so the thing is, though, in my opinion, and I'm one of those guys. I'm, I guess, old school, I guess. But I believe in if someone asks for a box, 
It doesn't matter what it is. Like I've sent Johnny Tayez a box. I didn't. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask what was in it. I didn't care. I just sent him a box. I'm not asking what's in it. I'm just saying a price range so we know what kind of size box to put. That way, we're not sending him a pop and he's sending us 12. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Well, that makes it fair, yes. That's the way to do it. That's the way everybody does it. That's the way they do it during Christmas. That's the way they do the, the Dirty Santa during Christmas. Or not the Dirty Santa, but the Secret Santa. Me, personally, if, if for example, if he sent us three pops or wherever the money value was, Shame is horrible. Um, <laughs> he had to get that under his breath. Yeah, I had to. Um, for example, if someone sent us a box that's, we said a price range of, let's say, 25 to 30, maybe 50 bucks. And this is just me. This don't have to include you at all, but this is just me. If someone sent me that, I'm like, okay, cool. I get that. But I'm going to try to get the most I can to send that, and I might even send extra stuff on top of it. Yeah, not because we, we always do. We not always because do they, extra not, stuff. but not because of the money value. It's because of that's what I like to do. You know, I, I don't care. I, it, like for example, um, the comics. But we you send have to have a you have to have a send. basic. You have to have a basic box to 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 add on to. And I mean, you have to you have to know what kind of box we're talking about. Are we talking about a medium box, small box, big box, because we don't want to send him a small box and then he send us a huge box. We're gonna feel bad about that. No, 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 no. Mike, shut up, man. You're just no. You're just arguing with me to argue with me, man. No, man, I'm not. Listen, like for example, the way I, put it this way, I don't care what the money was about or. What kind of box was Okay, sales? Mike, Mike. I send you this, and you send me all these pops. Are you going to feel bad? No. You're really not going to feel bad. No. Then you're an ass. That's a real ass thing to do, man. Because Why would I feel bad if I sent you all that and I got this? Because that's all I sent you. I you know, you, you'd know that I would feel bad about only sending you that when you sent me all that. I wouldn't care. Now, if we said, okay, $100 is going to fit into this box... Then, then, you know, then at least we know what kind of uh, basic box we're going to be sending each other. Even though we're not going to send $100 worth of shit, we're going to send $150 worth of shit because of the way the unboxing bros do. I get it. Yeah. Thank you. See, that's what I'm saying. It's the thought. It isn't the money value. The, the way I like to do it is I don't care what's in the box. As long as someone sent it out of their head and they are going to give you something i don't care what the value of it was to me that's cherished more than you know okay. i sent you 50 bucks and you sent me ten dollars but you're still going to feel bad okay. if the other person feels bad about only sending a box and then you sent them you know three boxes so why not come up with a a, a basic price range fifty dollars and then and then you know if we go a little bit above that or a little bit below that it's fine that way we know what kind of size box it goes. That's the way to do it, man. That's the way everybody does it. You said it better than I did. I, I, I'm, I'm speechless. See my point? Yeah, but, I mean, again, you're talking value there. She's talking value the same thing, which is what I'm doing. Somebody sends you a Beetlejuice pop, which is worth $150. you are going to try to match that $150 and put at least $150 worth of pops in there, right? No. It's not what I'm saying. I'm saying price range. I'm not saying size of box. You... But what we're saying, dude, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't matter what's in the box. It don't matter the value. Exactly what I'm, no, what I'm saying. No, but you have to have a basic a basic price range of pops so that we know what we're trading. So who even say anything about pops? I'm, okay, well, I'm just using pops as an example. You have to use a basic 
price range of stuff so we we know kind of what what we're uh what we're trading i, I get what you're saying 100 percent. but again this is me saying this if it, yeah, i agree kelly totally 100 percent. but my thing is it really sorry pcj i'm I, it's just the way it it's the way it does it's the way it works it's the way everybody does it on youtube I'm just, that's what was my argument. And anytime we send off boxes, we always send off a lot more than what we planned on sending. So, I mean, it's not, it's not, the, it's not, it's not even that he's right. It doesn't really matter, but you have to have like a guideline at least of what you're sending. But yeah, let's change the subject. So, how's the weather over there where you're at, PCJ? <laughs> wow. We just went Lake Centurion, and I don't even like Lake Centurion. We really just had banter. That's weird. Well, I mean. 41 minutes is not too bad. Yeah. But in all honesty, though, man, I, I mean. No, it wouldn't. It really wouldn't. Yeah. But that it doesn't make it less because uh, the same here. Because regular, uh, regular, I mean, covers that are our original art are worth money. The way I look at things, and I thought we were changing subjects. Change subjects. I mean, it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, you did. Cole versus in. Yeah, Tommy in was you. amazing, and Cole, so was Cole. Don't get worked up, man. I'm not worked up. I'm just saying. It, it, it's... <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. I, I, I get him. I totally do. And, and thank you, Kelly, for that, by the way. But no, and, and went back to wrestling, though, man. Why? Why wrestling? So, what's new in comics? Is anybody know anything about comics? I'm going to talk comics. I hear there's a good movie out. Oh, yeah. Which one? Black Panther? It ain't out yet. comes it out. It comes came out. out. No. It comes out this Friday. I thought it was already out. Oh, the premiere came out. Yes. Because they were already spoiling it online. Yes. Be careful if you go online and read Spoilers. anything about this uh, Infinity War. Yeah. He passed away. We get it. Pasta. But no, on another note, that joke was pasta, it's, it's expiration date. Yeah, like 20 years, 30, 40 years ago. Are we back on this again? That joke was a piece of work. All right, so again, most of the stuff that we talked about, excluding prices of boxes, has been great. However, there's other things in our in our world that we are actually trying to get it out to, um, and I need to mail some things off that's sitting in my house actually. Ha! That's actually pretty funny. Uh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Um, but no, um, I need to mail some things out soon to people. Um, a lot of people, three that I know of personally. Um, another one that I want to do and your, and your giveaways PCJ are phenomenal by the way. And if anybody that's on our channel right now, watching us live or whatever, <laughs> crazy. Um, <clears throat> And if you go to PCJ, Pop Culture Junkies uh, YouTube channel, and check him out, dude's phenomenal, fantastic. He does a lot of great unboxing videos. He does a lot of great contests. He's got one on there right now. It's the RPG crate that I haven't watched yet, but I will. Oh, like role playing game? Yeah. What? It's a it's a crate that has like it usually comes with dice no. and figures and stuff. Yeah, it's really cool. No. Like D and D stuff? Yeah. No. Y'all. Y'all. Nah. Y'all. Well, 
I'm sold. I'm gonna go to your site and, and enter a contest at twelve. Because I like RPG stuff. No, I don't think it has anything to do. I don't know if it has anything to do with that crate or what. But it don't matter. I like I like PCJ. I like going over and trying to support him. Yeah, we support you PCJ as much as we can. I need to start doing some giveaway stuff and like subscribing to giveaways and doing things like that. I haven't done that stuff in months, man. I'd be so bland and you know, so boring. Look at me, dude. My beard is even turning more grayer as we sit here and talk. There's a, there's a lot of YouTubers out there that, that hit the 5,000 and 6,000 mark, and they do these little giveaways, and they expect you to, to really jump through hoops for the giveaways. But really, when you think about it, out of the 5,000 people, you know, maybe 100, 200 enter, that's still some bad odds. That's still some pretty raunchy odds to win anything. So most people don't bother. Dude, you are negative tonight. I am kind of negative tonight. I think I need to... Jesus. Stab myself in the throat or something. Wow. The negativity out of this fella tonight. Sorry. The box thing. Now now the... I, mean, I don't do this because of the odds. Come on, man. Where is your positivity and your... I'm usually the positive one. Mike's usually the... The, the negative one. Tonight I'm the negative one. We switched roles. Wow. I'm telling you to calm down now. Calm down, man. Chill. They have the the antidepressant. You need antidepressants. I'm not depressed. Oh, you need I'm actually pretty happy. I totally agree with that statement. I think we should wrap this up and send little Stevie here to night night time. Actually, I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I slept in the hospital with my dad, so. Yeah. I know. Speaking of which, how is he doing, buddy? He's good. Good. It's all that matters. Yeah, my, my dad's got his arm all messed up. He's got it in a sling, and he thought he might have to have surgery from here to here, trying to replace all the ligaments and torn, torn stuff that he did. He's 60 some odd years old. They'll, he, he can handle it. He's younger than Mr. Johnny? Yeah. I know I will. Piece I'll try joke. my damnedest, brother. As a matter of fact, when I'll, I leave here tonight, after I go to Wally World, <laughs> after I go to Wally World and go back to my wife, and hopefully after I'm not dead, I can actually enter your contest. It'll be amazing for me to enter a contest, actually. See? Kelly just said some love. We all send love to PCJ. I love PCJ. I love all the YouTubers out there, man. Uh, I, well, most of them. There's a couple of them. Yeah, like, there's some oh, out there that God. aren't worth a crap. Why do you even have followers? Why? What is this I just got? I, I don't even know what this is. And you're like, oh, man, please, please don't throw that. And you're like, oh, that's like $400. You're an idiot. <sighs> Uh, that guy right there played a. Never mind. I, I'm. I don't even talk about the people that don't deserve to be talked about. And to me personally, the the guys like him and a couple of others. I'm not even going to name. I can't believe you named that guy. Um, they they are famous for their antics and what they do. Oh yeah, the yeah he bashed Loot Crate like you and Billy like oh it's Sonic, and it looks like this is a toy, but it isn't. It says adult collectible. Likewise, PCJ, thanks for stopping in. Later, sir. PCJ. I'll definitely be in the like contest. Yes, we, we, we like I said, I'll do it tonight. I promise. I'll, I'll remind him tomorrow if he doesn't. I'm gonna do it. Do it. I'm gonna hook up. Oh. I may have great news coming up soon too. That's He's okay. Did I tell you about that million thing at work? I didn't. They said congrats in the headset thing to me. Much love, PCJ. Yeah, dude. It's Later, brother. Congratulations over uh, for getting over one million uh, PMs. And I was like, what? You haven't had a million PMs yet. No, the company. Oh, <laughs> dude, I'm about to say, uh, <laughs> but I don't know how that works. I don't even know if I did a thing. I just know I came over the headset and I was like, what? Congratulations, what? you just got the company more money.
They pay me head. They pay me nicely, so I'm not angry about it. And the more I keep moving forward, and the more I move up, the better off I am. And the more money they bring me. Why do you keep stabbing that thing? I take it away. Dear Jesus, man, you're scaring the crap out of me. What's a waste of money, bro? Like that behind me? Or behind us? You say a thing, but it's worth, what, $4,300, you said? And there's more in there, too. A lot more. Yeah, way more. The good ones. I didn't even put out the good ones yet. Oh, yeah, Loot, crate, loot Crate's garbage. Oh, opinion. yeah. I would not buy Loot Crate to save my life. Loot right Crate's now. what we started on is the reason that, kind of the reason we started on Boxing Bros, and then Loot Crate just went. I jumped off the bandwagon Crash before it burned. It was bad. Right when it started crashing, I was like, Steve, you need to get out, bro. And you guys said, no, nah, man, no, nah, bro. I'm going to stay with it. Not true. I jumped over to Geek Fuel for a minute. I was like, eh, I like Geek Fuel. Remind me of Loot Crate. So I left, I left Geek Fuel and went to Comic, Comic Con Box, which was great for the first four months I got it. Then it went. Because they couldn't afford what they were putting in it. Man, I'm telling Well, yeah, because they owned everything. Wizard World. I mean, it's basically having Wizard World in a box. That's besides going to Comic Cons. I mean, that was basically what it was. And then, Blind Box Comics. Boom. No. No. What is that? It's a women's freaking makeup bag for ten dollars. Why would we need that? It's Jackie, dude. She's goofy. I love you, baby, but you're goofy. Goofy as hell. Damn. Is my son asleep? He better be. But, um, yeah. Oh, speaking of which, uh, I got a funny story to tell y'all. My son today decided to let me get his hair cut, finally, for after two years of trying to get his hair cut. Y'all probably seen him on a couple of videos with us and whatnot. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, he has been on a couple of videos. Yeah, and tonight, um, I went to go get his hair cut, and he's like, man, I'm nervous. I was like, don't be nervous, bro, it's okay. He's like, no, man. I'm just a little nervous. I was like, you know why men like to go get haircuts from women? He's like, nah, why? Wow. He's like, three things, bro. Sports, video games, and women. That's what men love. Most men, anyway. If you don't have a sports team, yay sports. Yay sports. Go sports. Go sports. So, as you can tell, I am a really big sports fan. I have my teams. He don't count. But anyway, so we're sitting there driving along, and I, he goes, well, tell me a story about it. your time. Your time is getting a haircut. I was like, well, my very first haircut was to get by a guy named Bobby that I can remember that my dad took me to up there and, and got my haircut by this guy, and it kind of scarred me because he gave me a freaking bowl haircut. Like, he literally, like, you could put a bowl over my head and to an outline, and I came out looking like a bowl head. Hi, my name's Steve. I'm here on the Sunreel. Basically, so, yes. So, do a little acting. It's cool. So then, a lot of good looking girls here. Next question. So then, after that happened, my dad took me back, and there was this lady named Mary. She's like, "Hey, Michael, you're cute." I was like, "Yes, I am, pretty lady." Even though she wasn't really that pretty, I was gonna take any admonishment I could get. Like, yes, yes, admire me more. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So. Sat up in her chair. She gave me a haircut. I told I told Chris this. Like she rubbed a little little side boob on my arm and stuff. And I was like, yeah. And I was hooked on getting haircuts ever since. He was like, for real. I was like, yeah, man. That's why we get haircuts. Telling that to my son today, he was like, awesome. That's what he said. Awesome. I was like, I raised a, I raised a bad kid. So we go into the getting a haircut at Sport Clips. And uh, he sat there, and she was cutting his hair, and he gets out of the chair, and he looks at me and goes, that was some false advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said, I really want my hair back. 
small. That's <laughs> mean, man. Come on, son, let's go to GameStop. That's <laughs> mean, man. Look, you made that kid cut his hair. Oh, man. I told, I told Jackie that tonight. She's like, you're evil. I, I'm very diabolical, I guess, man, but he was like, for real? Awesome. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I got all girls. Oh, man. <laughs> when he took a shower night, he goes, really, Dad? Really? False advertisement. And she goes, what is he talking about? And I told her the story. And she goes, ah, oh, you're evil. I was like, I can't help it. I can't help it. And, and the older he gets, the worse it's going to get for him. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Breaking news, the Unboxing Bros are now the Unboxing Bro. <laughs> Mike, Mike had a tragic accident. <laughs> oh, <man>. That's good. <laughs> oh, man. You got to admit that that, that was Jackie, great. we got to get you on here. We oh, got God. to get you on here. How great was that, though? High five? High five. So, as we usually say... <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Give me some slack here, man. I wanted to get the boys haircut. And... I got the blues haircut, so even though it did, even though it did cost me a, a false advertisement. Did you give him the? Uh, did you get him the royal treatment, or did you just give him the? Oh the, man, I I gave him the royal treatment. Gave him the MVP. Nice. Yeah. How yeah. old boy did you get, get a haircut? Yeah, if y'all don't know what the MVP is, they put a hot towel on your head and they give you a massage and stuff. It's pretty cool. And they clean your hair. And it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> things happen. Cool. She makes good food, everybody. So say good night to me. <laughs> good night, Mike. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> but anyway, and now you got to get on here because now you're available. We got to get you a, a new, <laughs> new suitor, <laughs> new daddy for the the son. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> Oh yeah, she messed. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that for off camera. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm telling you, dude. Mommy will have him in a mohawk. I know, mommy. Oh, I told her I was like, when I told the lady, I said, she's like, what do you want to do? I was like, I put in a mohawk. He goes, for real? <laughs> He's excited. He's like, for real? He's like, nah. My dad, when I, whenever I had my hair, I had my hair down to about right here. Or so, Some my dad looks at me. Down. He goes, she goes, boy. You have a choice. He said, you're 16 now, or I was 15. You're 15 now. You can go live with your, your grandmother for the rest of your life. Or, or you can uh, get your hair cut. So I said, okay. So I went into went into the bathroom, pulled all my hair up like this, and I shaved. <laughs> all the way around, then laid my hair back down. So I walked out. My dad looks at me. He goes, he goes well, I, thought I told you to go get a haircut. I said, I did, Dad. And I pulled my hair up. Yeah, that was not a pretty sight. <laughs> I got beat within an inch of my life. Oh, man. I did that once, too. My dad said, boy, come here. And he shaved off the rest of my hair, and I was bleeding because he scalped me pretty good. Yeah. I did that in the military, too. He brought too. mine out. Yeah, um, they, they got me in the military. I went in with a freaking uh, crew cut. I did, too, man. I went, in there with a, I went in there with a bald, bald head. You know what that old man did? He said, huh, think you're going to get away from me, boy? Yep. Mm. Mine was an old black guy. That's exactly what he said. He goes, mm. I was like, like one, like I had blood on my face. He gave me a white towel. Don't bleed on my floor. I was like, whoa. Yeah. I'm sitting there just. Then the TIs start yelling at you. Why are you going to bleed? You're going to bleed on the floor. You're going to clean it up tonight. And I was like, oh, God. Yeah. So sorry. Yeah. I was like, ha. <laughs> anyway, I think we should end this and call it a night. Anyway. Yeah, you got to get on here. Uh, you wow. got to get on here. Oh my God! Wow, throw me out there right now. You got some just... zingers on today, buddy. Like, here's a, here's a fly ball. Go catch. Go play fetch, boy. Fetch. Anyway, support your local comic book stores. Are we ending yet? Oh yeah.
<laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay, go on Kickstarter and support something. If you don't know what Kickstarter is, message this guy. He can tell you. Yeah, message me up. Hit me up. I'm on Facebook. I'm on. I'm not on Instagram. Oh, uh, also, I said that next time we went live that we would have a, uh, a Instagram and a Twitter. And we will. I've, I've just been busy with my dad and work and stuff like that. We're going to get all that going. We'll have the Unboxing Bros Twitter, the Unboxing Bros Instagram. We'll start putting some Instagram pictures up of pops and us doing stupid things and hey you might catch me out locally here and um doing things with signs like hey honk if you're horny whoa joking if anybody's local you will never see me doing that because i'm not that brave being around anymore um we really need to start supporting that because once these uh, local comic book shops disappear those great big uh Great big uh, companies. companies and shit are going to be able to charge whatever the hell they want. It's not cool. They already do anyway. They already do, but I mean, right now the local comic book shops still need that. We don't need to get our, our comics online. We, we like the smell of a fresh comic when you open it. And most of the comics nowadays anyway are either three, four, five, six, up to ten dollars. That's crazy. I never dreamed of coming. They used to have the annuals, the uh, the big thick ones that were what a dollar fifty then, and you were like, oh my god, a dollar fifty, you know. And the annuals were basically the end story to the big arc that happened all year long, or half a year long. Back so then, actually, you know? some of the annuals are worth some money now because it's yeah, first appearances. I, I have a Daredevil for uh, a couple of annuals of Daredevil. I'm a big Daredevil fan. He's um, a big, he's a big annuals fan. Okay, so uh. But like you said, though, it is important for everybody to get out there and support really your local is. mom and pop comic book stores. Even if you don't really like the people and that's the only place you can go besides buying it offline. Trust us. We make amends with that person. We feel even, even if you eat crow or go in there with your, hand in your, your head in your hand, man, just suck it up and deal with it. You Be don't a see a lot of really rich people that own comic book shops. They make a moderate living for the most part. They don't make a lot of money, so... I that's mean, their life. Yeah. That's their life. That's what they love to do. Most people are either retired or that's what they, you know, they saved up most of their life to get their comic book shop. So anyway, not, I'm, I'm not going to beat this to death anymore, but, but seriously. Also, folks, this week, uh, the past couple weeks, no, this week we saw society rear its ugly head. Please, people, there is no reason in the world... To be a dick to each other. There's no reason in the world to be mean to each other. I know it's fun sometimes. It's fun to joke around and kid around and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, we're all brothers and sisters. What does society do? I'm talking about your situation. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ugly ugliness. I mean, just I mean, it's just completely. It's it's ugly, and and we just need to be nicer to people. Be, ni be nicer people and be nicer to each other. You know, uh, promote, uh, we promote YouTubers as much as we can, even though, you know, you know, we're not on here a lot. We'd like to be on here a lot more. Uh, we both work the same place, but we both work a lot. Different. Um, well, we work the same place, same company. Yeah, but we both have different jobs. We both have different jobs, but. I but, started out what he's doing. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as that goes, you know, we're going to try to get on here more. Um, you're going to see a lot more of our faces. You're going to see a lot more of our posts. Once we get that Twitter account up, we'll we'll promote that and put that on here. That sort of thing. Or what? And man, if you have any questions about pops, you have any questions about comics, any questions about Kickstarter, any of that stuff. What's that other one? Wrestling. Indiegogo. Indiegogo. Wrestling. This guy has has wrestling on his brain. Um, I don't have a lot of. I just realized I don't have I, RPGs. I know a lot about RPGs. I know a lot about pops. Really? You know anything about JRPGs? Anyway, I know a lot about RPGs, um, gaming stuff like that. JRPGs, video game RPGs. Talk to this guy. Not that guy. Anyway, so you know, if you have any questions, message us. Uh, we'll, we will message back. We'll hit you. We'll hit you back up. We, hey, we do work. I work hard. I work hard for a living. Anyway, 
So we normally end it like we always end it. Are you ready? Oh, I guess we're singing. Are we singing for one person? Yes. And it's your wife? Yeah. And she's making fun of us? Yeah. She doesn't think she work? Yeah. I do try hard. I do do good. We both work hard. Later, Kelly, bro. Anyway. Later, Kelly. So, yeah, be good, good, man. Don't be a stranger. Ever. Please. Ready? Now she's singing with us. Are you ready? Yeah. I enter the eighth I am. Enter the eighth I am. I am. I got married to the widow next door. She's okay. been married seven times before. And everyone was enter enter Never was a Willie or a Sam. Of the eighth old man named enter the eighth I am. I don't know that. Second verse, same as the first. I in the eighth I am, in the eighth I am, I am. I got married to the widow next door. She'd been married seven times before. Everyone was an Henry, Henry. Never was a Willie or a Sam. No, sir. I'm the eighth old man named Henry, Henry the eighth I am. Third verse, Satan. No, I'm I, I, I don't know this song. I only know one song that we sing together. What's that? The Unboxing Bros theme song. Oh. Ready? Silent no. Night. No, that's a Christmas song. Alright. Right. No, no, no. Not that. Oh, yeah! That's, that's a badass song. No, it's not. It's the song that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing, not knowing what it was. No. Uh, we'll get it. All right. Now. Uh, that was on. him. That was him starting. Yes. <laughs> Ready? Ready. No. Come on, man. We do this every time. Every single time we do this. Ready? Ready? Now it's time to say goodbye. No, no, no. Th think this, th think, think that away, and we can do That's, the thing. I was an instrument. It, yeah, terrible one. It's like a butt trumpet. Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Just saying, bro. We're not getting x-rated here. Hey, I didn't get x-rated. There we go. Ready? More cowbell, please. We need way more cowbell. Wind up, Richard. Alright, ready? Ready? N Come on, man. I was singing. No, you wasn't. I was starting. Nope. I was going to start. Okay. How do we get two viewers? Uh, I don't know. They just come in and hang out. What's up, number two? What up, number two? Number right. two. Ready? ready? Number two. That's better than number one. Number, number one. one. Number, number two. two. Quit. Ready? First loser. <laughs> hey, first or last. Anyway, ready? Ready. Now it's... Come on, That man. was beautiful, though, man. No, you great. started that with such... Vigor and, and, and like tenacity. You're like, now it's time to say goodbye no. to all oh, our come company. It's terrible. All right, ready? You and me. Oh, God, no, no, no. Be real cool. No, 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 no. No, no. we're not doing that. Way. No, no, no. no. Ah. You ready? You ready? Jackie ready? likes it? Yeah, it's terrible. It's not terrible. It is weird. How dare you? Hey. You're, you're killing not only Disney, you're killing us. Oh, God. We haven't got our cease and desist letter yet. As soon as we do, we're going to put it right up on the screen because we're real proud of it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I hope it has a Mickey thing. Mouse on the bottom of it, dude. I'm yeah, going to frame it. Mickey Mouse on I'm going to frame it. Anyway, ready? No, not ready. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you, she's right. You're right. Yeah, what happened? How come you're not being nice to me? Bobblehead. Had an ant like that once. It was like. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Let me get stop. 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 Okay, there we go. Alright, ready? Why are you being mean? Right. Stop being mean. Alright, let's do this. Ready? Right. Now. That was beautiful. No, what a start it was. You were know, like, ooh. Uh, 
you had that voice, you're like, you're like, no, it's time to say goodbye. Dude, I really thought you about this. Now's the time of my life. I thought you about to sing Dirty Dancing. I swear. <laughs> I was about to say, please don't, Jesus, do, 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 well, let's, do it. Let's do, we should do it in voices this time. This time I'm going to be Dracula. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. I'm going to sing it like Dracula. No. Now it's time for say goodbye to all our company. That's terrible. You and me. Beautiful. <laughs> O-X-I. Stop, stop. I am thinking of a real cool Stop. Yeah, it's yeah, terrible. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Unboxing bros. Unboxing bros. Whatever, it does hold what I Hi, 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 hi. Come along and sing a song and join our jamboree. You can be oh, excited. M.G. Count Dracula. <laughs> anyway. Good. <laughs> Had the time of my life. <laughs> never I never it. felt like this before. I swear. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> and I owe it all to you. Now you need to do the dance. <laughs> I don't know the dance. <laughs> Elmo says sing. Elmo. Oh, God. I used to do the Elmo voice. All right, you ready, buddy? Ready. ready? All right, brother, let's do this. Let's do it. Ready? Now, oh come on, God, bro! It's beautiful, Dude, man. I really it's thought you were going that time. Man, I, I was like, swear, oh. I thought you were going like, that time. No, I mean you—you you had the voice Dude, going. I, I like, really thought we were doing it this bigger time. Bigger tenacity. We're we gonna do it, or I'm gonna smash a box. I don't know oh. which box I'm smashing. I'm smashing a box. If you have to smash a box. I would smash. It's bad in the room. All right, good. I'll smash this one. Don't smash it. Here, let me get you one. <laughs> get you know you're not gonna sing, yeah. really. They're working. You smash this one because I was going to give this one to you anyway. Why are you giving me the man at arms? I don't know. You like. I like He Man, yeah. Because like He Man. Know, boy, he Man. He Man. I, I, you're I've right. had a He Man once. You're <laughs> right. I, I should. I have way learned. Yeah. All right. You ready? Seriously. We're, we're singing. Oh. <clears throat> ready? I'm. I was ready to sing, but you didn't. Dude, we've been doing this for 13 and a half minutes already. I've been trying to get your ass to sing for 13 and a half minutes. It's true, it is true. Haven't you learned not to try to underestimate people? I don't know what that means, but. It is. Haven't you learned not to underestimate people? Oh. Learn how to read there, pal. Haven't you learned not to underestimate Yeah. Flip the page? Yeah, I guess I put how in there, didn't I? Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, Autosan. Autosan. Hmm. Anyway. Uh oh. Cool. <gasps> cool, you ready? Ready? Oh. Yo. Yo. Someone said yo. Yo, yo, yo. yo. 22. What's up? What's up? Peeps. Are you ready? Singing like Count Dracula? No. Uh, no. Uh, no. Singing like an Irish person? God, no. Singing it like a Moshkin? No. No, it's terrible. No, that's terrible. Regular. Singing like an Otosun? Otosun. Do you know what that means? It means father or daddy. Yeah, it does. All right, Teen Titans, go. Here we go. Ready to do it? No, that's a joke. Come on, ready? Ready? Oh, it's time to... I was singing. Dude, it's 15 minutes I've been trying to get you to sing. Actually, 15 minutes and a half. All right, let's sing it out. All right. Ready? Right. Yeah. <clears throat> now, now it's time to say goodbye to all our company. company. That's you. You, you and me. Be, be real, real cool, you two people. <laughs> O-X-I. I think that you're real cool, you two people. N-G-G. We have two people. They're real cool. Unboxing bros. Unboxing bros. Forever let us hold our banner. Hi, hi, hi. Come along and sing a song and join the camera. You would be O-X-I. N-G. There's two people on here and we love you two people. 
time with us, hang out with us. Thank you so much for tuning in tonight Thank you for so much. an hour and we are 16 minutes. not worthy. We are not worthy. And I threw a piece of paper because I love you guys so much. And I got to help him put this wall together. And I will see you next week. Same time, same bad channel. Maybe might have might have a guest. May have something. Um, <laughs> thank you. Thanks, thank Kelly. You. <laughs> I knew it was Kelly on there. That's yeah. awesome. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Kelly, seriously, seriously, don't make yourself a, a uh, stranger. Yeah, ever. We love you. And I will. I got to stop by Walmart. And I got to do some stuff. And I will be home soon. And I'll I be home soon. Love you all. I'm going to help put this thing together, too. Love you all. Peace. Be home soon. I come in peace. You leave in pieces.